hello everybody welcome to another exciting tutorial today I'm going to show you how to create a very realistic hair object inside Cinema 4D I'm talking here about a lion hair or lion fuel inside Cinema 4D a very realistic one so let's get started first of all let's create an object that will present our lion let's choose a capsule change orientation to X and let's scale it a little change the display to shading lines the high segment to 60 good let's add an FFD add it to the capsule change the segments so let's click fit to parent and Change this to 12. Perfect. Now let's make this capsule editable. Click on FFD, choose points, choose the cinema for the port, the front port, and the rectangle selection. And let's try to modify this, this thing to, to present our line present our line all right All right, that's enough. I'll just show in some some hairs are not sculpting anything. Let's hide this this uh, object. This one here. Right click and subdivide. Perfect. Now let's go to the top view. Select live selection and let's try to select these polygons here select these polygons Go to select rectangle or loop, loop selection. Sorry, select these two loops. Change the camera view to bottom and go back to live selection. Let's select these polygons here. Okay, I think it's good. Let's add another. Dope selection perfect. Click on simulate hair object, add hair. This one will be head. Go here, select, deselect the object, simulate, add hair. This one will be body. Click on body here, select here and let's chose change the guides to 3800 maybe click on Drigrio and update the guides change the hairs to 35 or no 300,000 hairs and the length to 30 centimeters <clears throat> okay now let's grab this one inside name this one line click on head and change the guides uh, the guides count to 
340 and here's to here's count to 35,000 so we have this one here name this material head and this one body okay all right good now let's uh, disable the dynamics for the body we don't want to have the dynamics as you can see now let's create uh, materials for our hair let's start with the body don't change anything in color go to speak color let's change some values here and I already tested these values so we don't have to don't have to test them just have to apply them it's uh, in the strength of the specular put 8 and the sharpen put 35 the secondary specular it changes strength to 12 and the sharpen to 45 and the back specular this shows a 35 in the thickness, let's choose a um, 0 0.5 and uh, 0 0.09. Enable length and add a noise. Click on the noise and it's uh, Choose the global scale to fifteen uh, percent. This one twenty percent, twenty percent, twenty percent. Moment. It's okay. We don't uh, want to add this. Now let's go back to freeze. Enable freeze. And change the value to five percent. Freeze five five percent, and the variation fifteen percent. Hold Control and click here to add a point. Then drag it right here. Enable kink. The kink value will be five percent. And click here to add a point. as you can see enable clamp show change the count to 20 and uh, the radius to 20 to 20 and the variation to 15 percent okay this is the hair of the body now let's create the hair of the head color will be this one will be black let's create another one here let's create another one here will be 30 90 and 9 this one here will be 35 and 23 got specular let's change this value the strain to 15 and the sharpen to 25 and the secondary specular the strain to 35 and the sharpen 30 the spec specular will be 45 okay enable length don't add any texture here Enable freeze and change the freeze value. The thickness for them. Thickness will be 0 0.5 and 0 0.001. Yeah. Go to freeze. Make it 10% and let's 
click here, hold control and click here. Alright, enable kink, add a 10% in the kink value. No, not 10%, but 15%. Yes, and add a point here, drag it right here. Enable clamp and change the count to 15 and the clamp to 15 and the radius to 25. All right, this is the hair of the head. Now let's create a texture or material for the skin. Create a new material and I disable the reflectance in the color. Let's create a noise. In the noise, this create this material and the 20, uh, 12 here and 5, 77. In the color tool, let's add a 33, 33, 20, 25, and 60. In the global scale, let's add 500%. And the movement will be 0 .0 .0 0.001. Go back and create the brightness to a little bit. Mix mode change it to multiply and the model change it to orange layer. Okay, apply the skin to our line. Now we finished all what we need. Now let's uh, test the, the hair. As you can see, we need to add more uh, guides in the body here, and we need lightning. Let's uh, go to body guides and add uh, 4,500, or set it the max. It's okay. Now, let's add a lightning for this scene. The most important thing in uh, creation, in the creation of uh, hair, is the lightning and the materials. Let's add a light here. Change the in intensity to decrease it a little. Let's add another light here. Add a shadow, shadow maps, loft, soft, sorry, loft. And let's add another light to be the back light, that's sunlight. We create shadow and increase the intensity to 600. Perfect. Let's go here. Add a camera, right click protection to protect the camera for a moment. Now we uh, have to create a texture for our background. Let's add a background first and let's create a texture, new material, disable the reflectance, go to color, texture, add a gradient, change the type to 2D circular. Let's change uh, this one to all right, and this one will be okay. Turbulence to 35 and the uh, scale 22. Good. You can add this blue or or green, it's not a problem with that. Let's add another one with the green. Perfect. Now, what we're gonna do is uh, we have something to do. 
to this here. Let's change the view by clicking the middle mouse button and go to front view, go to simulate, hair tools and brush. This uh, and check visible only. Change the radius to be bigger enough. And let's see what's happening when we brush our line. Good. It's the same to the head. Let's go the same to the head. change the radius of this brush a little bit okay this is cool. Good camera. And this, this, this. As you can see, this is a render. It's perfect. It's nice. Uh, let's change the camera to the to this one here. But before that. Let's add a camera here and let's add a light in the back. Here, let's change shadow to shadow maps, soften the, the intensity to 600. Let's disable this, this one. Go back to camera, let's run it. For that, let's uh, copy these lights too. Yeah. Let's render it. As you can see, this is cool. Uh, by the way, you can render it using physical render to have a perfect result like this one. This one here. There is some speaker on the hairs. <coughs> Anyways, <coughs> this was uh, the tutorial. Thanks for watching, and uh, the the tutorial files and uh, everything will be available to download as every tutorial. And thanks for watching again. Uh, follow me on uh, social media and uh, support me on Patreon if you can. Thank you very much and see you soon in the upcoming tutorial will be uh, about hair creation, uh, maybe uh, about uh, the hair creation of human or animals, same. So see you later, thanks for watching.